The following instructions are meant to supplement your training on Hydrotite's products. Hydrotite recommends that you read and understand your manuals thoroughly before operating these units. There are two basic kinds of pumps or consoles available from Hydrotite, air or electric. Now we will demo basic setup of the ZU4 electric pump. These versatile pumps power a variety of hydraulic tools and offer many menu and screen options. This ZU4 electric pump comes standard with a breather plug, operating manual, and 15-foot flexible hose. Hydrotite encourages you to read your manual before operating this pump. If you do use an extension cord, make it of proper gauge as improper gauge cord will cause excessive voltage drop at the pump and it will cause the cord to get hot. First step is to remove the red shipping plug that comes installed in your pump and replace it with the breather plug and adapter that is included with your unit. The shipping plug is in place to ensure that no leaks happen in the oil reservoir. This breather plug needs to be hand tight. Next you want to make sure that the hydraulic oil level is high enough. This glass window on the front of your unit will show a bubble halfway to three quarters up when the tank is full. Add oil only when all system components are fully retracted. To empty your reservoir, unscrew the front plug beneath the sight glass with a 5 16 inch Allen wrench. To add oil to your reservoir, use a 3 8 inch Allen wrench to remove the plug on the top of the console, then fill and reinstall your plug. Use Hydrotite supplied Interpac brand oil, otherwise your pump warranty may be voided. Hydrotite recommends you change your pump's hydraulic oil at least every 250 hours, or more often than that, in a dirty environment. To install the hoses, you need to first remove the dust covers from the quick connectors. On the console, clean dirt from the quick connect couplers and fittings before each use. Dirt on the couplers or fittings can interfere with the secure connection and the tool won't operate as it should. Wipe them off with a clean rag and do the same with your hoses making sure there is no dirt inside. Each end of the twin hoses will have one male and one female quick connect fitting. The power console has like male and female fittings. Take the supplied hose, insert it and rotate the collar until tight. Make sure there is no space between the screw collar and its stop as a space means that the screw collar is partially closed and flow will be limited. Collars must be tight. Hook the other end of your hose to the whip hoses on the wrench and tighten them up snug as before. Then do the other side tight. Oil will not flow freely between connections if fittings are not fully engaged. Using a torque calculator, determine the torque to hydraulic pressure conversion you will need to apply the proper torque output to the nut. Loosen the locking nut on the base of the torque control valve and make sure that the control handle is all the way up counterclockwise before you start. Make sure the pump's voltage matches your power output. Plug your unit in. Make sure the readout comes in and wait until it gets to zero PSI. Your pump's remote control unit has two buttons, an arrow for advance and an on-off button. Turn your pump on. On your remote control, now push the advance button or arrow. Hold it down and turning the control valve to increase and set it to the pressure desired. For this case, it is 3000 PSI. Then you want to release the advance button. Then press it again to make sure the pressure remains constant. Release and press the advance button again to finalize your pressure setting. Then lock the chrome lock nut down and shut the unit off. You should now be ready to use your ZU4 electric pump.